365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you each day. No Fears, written by Vanessa Pizzuto. Blessings. Today is July 19th, 2022, and the Lord has prepared a special message for you today titled, Speaking Accurately. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this blessed day. We come to you with an open heart, ready to hear your word. Speak to us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Today's Bible text is found in Job chapter 42, verse 7, and it says, After the Lord had finished speaking to Job, he said to Eliphaz the Temanite, I am angry with you and your two friends, for you have not spoken accurately about me, as my servant Job has. When her 21-year-old son died, Anne Weems wrote her own psalms of lament to express her grief to God. How large a cup of tears must I drink? How much is enough? Will I weep all the days of my life? Oh God, find me. I am lost in the valley of grief and cannot see my way out. Why do you leave me alone in this house full of memories? How do you feel when you read those words? Many of us were taught that praying that way is heresy, that it shows little faith. However, the Bible defends those impolite prayers filled with emotional integrity. In the midst of his terrible tragedy, Job said, And even if I summoned him and he responded, I'm not sure he would listen to me, for he attacks me with a storm and repeatedly wounds me without cause. Job chapter 9 verse 16 and 17. Although Job was wrong because Satan was the one hurting him, God was not offended and he did not punish him for having expressed his feelings. In fact, at the end of the book, God says Job spoke accurately about him. See Job chapter 42 verses 7 and 8. That does not mean Job perfectly understood God or the mystery of wickedness, but that he did what he had to do in such a situation. Job brought his laments, his pain, and his anger to God, thus showing emotional integrity. Job's friends, who accused him of having brought his own disgrace upon himself and defended God's honor, had to offer sacrifices for having spoken inaccurately. Reflecting on the healing role of laments, Adam Young, whose article, Emotions in the Time of Coronavirus, served to inspire today's devotional comments. We only bring our anger to those with whom we feel safe. If there is a person in a position of authority, a boss, a father, or a husband, we do not dare to express our anger to them out of fear of retaliation. It is when we know someone loves us unconditionally that we can tell them about our anger and pain and receive healing. When we use the language of laments to go through the pain of tragedy, we honor God because we trust Him with our whole hearts, not only the parts that are politically correct. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you because I can come to you with all my feelings without fear of recrimination. Amen. <laughs>